Hi everyone, I hope you're doing great. So this is the third video of the C17 Globe Master build series. In this video, we're gonna be building the wings. The wings of this plane are so big, so we will cut them on a hot wire CNC. We have a massive uh, hot wire CNC from Hot Wire Foam Factory. We've been using this machine for a while now, and it saved us so much time, and that's why we love it so much. All right, let's get to work. So this here is just one part of the wing. I made the wings uh, in three sections and each cut contains both wings, left and right. They are mirrored inside this box and I cut them this way to ensure that both wings are the exact same. The molds are very important in here because I'm gonna glue them together later. Not just the wing core is going to be glued together, but also the molds and these molds are going to help me uh, keep the wings in shape, especially when I wrap them. And these molds are going to be used to press the carbon fiber on the wing and that is to ensure a good bond between the skin and the foam itself. Alright, so the tubes are glued with those ribs, both of them, and I glued this on a flat table, so this means the wings, there is no twist whatsoever between them, they are perfectly squared, and uh, yeah, everything is glued inside, and this is how far the tubes are going to be, and yeah, from now, maybe, maybe I'll put just a tube just for extra strength, but the skin would be like a sandwich material, so it would be strong enough. Now I know that this is perfect I can basically glue these on the rest of the wing and yeah go from there this video is sponsored by BCB way PCB way offers custom BCB prototype service CNC machining 3d printing injection molding and more at this time of the year for Christmas you can get discounts up to 50% free Christmas cobons up to $200 and free Christmas badges check them out at bcbway.com Alright, this is the left wing and I just finished cutting those channels for the wires. This here uh, is for the servos and it's going all the way to the tip. This is uh, for the lights and this here in the front, this is for the EDFs. Uh, this one is a bit bigger than the other one because 
here uh, I need to put six wires and here only three go onto the second motor. And also put this carbon tube in here just for reinforcement. Uh, there is no spar going from here to the wingtip. Uh, that main tubes are up to here only and from here on there is nothing. Normally we don't need that because when we cover this with uh, strong skin, this would become like sandwich material and it would be really strong, stiff. It could bend a bit depending on you know the fabric we use or the epoxy we're gonna be using. And you never know any hard turn, you know, this thing might pull up to 10 Gs. So this tube weighs nothing and I thought, why not? Anyways, I just put the flab line just so I can know where to put my servos and this stuff and also the other one there. But the final uh, marking and cutting would be after the wing is uh, completely, you know, wrapped and uh, ready. All right, looking good so far. So as they usual, we will wrap those wings with uh, carbon fiber and fiberglass. Uh, the traditional way of covering those wings, especially the foam core wings, uh, is to cover them with balsa and then sand them smooth and then cover them with a, with a very thin layer of fiberglass. We will uh, cover them with carbon fiber and the results are going to be the same. The only disadvantage of this is that the surface won't be as smooth as if it was balsa. So this will take some extra time, you know, bond to sanding and stuff like that. But strength-wise it's going to be the same, maybe a bit stronger because this is uh, carbon fiber. Alright, this is the left wing, just to get out of the mold, and I think we put around 1,400 or 1,500 pounds of weight on top of the mold to press this thing, and uh, yeah, it turned out super nice. This is two layers carbon, top, top and bottom, and on the top there is a layer of fiberglass. You see, we really did not soak it enough with the boxy, at least the fiberglass, and uh, that's because we did not wet the or soak the bill blind on top of it. I thought, you know, save some weight, but um, yeah, it, this, is, this is not bad. This fiberglass, as I said, it might be sacrificial because this is not the final surface. This is going to be sanded. But most important is that the two layers of, of carbon fiber, which is the main strength of this whole thing, are fully soaked and uh, yeah, breast really well. Here I have this wire for the lights and the wingtip is being cut at the moment. And uh, yeah, we might glue it in or, you know, make it detachable. We'll see about that. The trailing edge turned out 
super nice. This is a two millimeters balsa with, you know, covered both sides and this is like, it's amazing, it's amazing. This whole wing is really super strong. I sat on it in the middle, which is amazing. And so now we will wrap the right wing and then after that I will cut the flaps and the ailerons and uh, yeah, go from there. All right. looks great this is just one layer carbon I just put this just to protect this area the form and reinforce this area and uh, yeah this will become also this will add strength to the wing you know it connects both skins and it becomes somehow like you know a bar going across the wing anyways uh, this is done it looks nice this corner is very clean here you see the profile and that's the flap this is also sanded ready I'm just waiting for this to cure it's still a bit tacky and I want to also cover this. I think this will just take a thin layer of fiberglass. I don't need carbon. And then I will put four hinges in here, two for each flap. And this is here. This is the aileron. These hinges really worked so nice in here. All right, this is looking really good. So these are the wing tips. These are foam. I will. Uh, wrap this with fiber glass or maybe carbon. I need this to be strong. I can uh, have this detachable maybe. I think it would be better if it's de detachable. Two or three screws I would say and this light here. The light is going to be cut out from here. I think I'll make it detachable. Why not? But they look great. Beautiful.
right, almost done with this wing and this flap turned out so good. So happy with that. Those hinges are awesome. These hinges are going to be hidden under the fairings that we will install later. It will be this big fairing. And so uh, working on the other wing, I think for this video, that would be it. And uh, honestly, I am so happy with, uh, with those wings. They turned out super strong. We took this plane earlier today outside. We assembled it and we actually sat on the wing, me and Will on both sides. And these wings are solid, like super strong. Of course, when we finish it, we will put more weight on the wings just to confirm that everything is uh, good. And yeah, I think it's been around five weeks working on this plane and I think we've done so much on it already. Like, like crazy amount of work we've done so far. And I would say we still have maybe four to five weeks to have it ready for the first flight. All right, I think that's it for this video. Uh, this video is going to be the last this year. Uh, I will head back home now for Christmas uh, holidays and I will come back here in January to finish this project. So you guys can expect the next video to be uploaded somewhere in January. So until then, I wanna wish you all a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays and as the usual, Happy New Year. And I will see you guys in the next video that will be next year. Bye-bye.